probably somewhat familiar with the industrial prison complex and mass incarceration. Over a million people are locked up in the U.S. right now. We live in a society that punishes the poor and mentally ill instead of addressing the root causes, but that would be bad for business. You've probably heard of the school to prison pipeline, policies that funnel black and brown kids into the criminal justice system for bad behavior. You can understand how minority students are at risk of checking out mentally as early as middle school. These are facts, y'all. I've seen it in real time. You got children from poor backgrounds and underserved communities with a lack of basic resources, living in food deserts where families don't have access to proper nutrition. You got a high crime rate, drug abuse, emotional disturbances, untreated mental illness. So what does this look like in school? It should be no surprise when we see trauma, aggression, anxiety, a constant state of fight or flight. You gotta equip these kids with mental tools. We need more culturally competent staff who understand this crisis, more funding to compensate and retain them for all that they do, more therapeutic services, and more social emotional learning in school to help these kids heal. Now, will this end corporate greed, dismantle white supremacy, stop implicit bias, and put an end to discrimination? Hell no. But it's the first step to mentally empowering ourselves. We're in a crisis that impacts the future of our people. And the shift starts with the mind. Using superpowers of emotional intelligence and self-control, we can teach kids to master their thoughts and recognize their potential. We can put an end to the pipeline and break the cycle. Let's get it.